Please begin. Um, so our project, so this is our project. Uh, we chose to test short-term memory on three different age groups. Um, we predicted that as people got older, um, their short-term memory would be better. At first we thought that the younger kids or the teens would have a better memory because we thought that they were still like more curious and observative about what was going on. Mm -hmm. But then we looked at other experiments and we said and we looked that they had already done a similar experiment mm -hmm. as ours and we said that um, we changed our hypothesis and we said that the older people like which was 25 and up mm -hmm. would have a better memory short term. Okay, excellent. Talk to me about your literature review. Some research you had to do to get ready for this project, please. So first we had to figure out what short term memory was. Okay. And short term memory is to hold information for short instances, mm -hmm. while long term memory is is to remember information for a longer time. Okay. And we also had to we had to research like what well, what short-term memory, like how many objects they can, on average, they could remember. Mm -hmm. um, we also researched um, what parts of the brain would function as your, um, like what parts of the brain are functioning as you're using like your short-term memory. Awesome. Talk to me a little bit about that. And uh, you feel we, free to use your models if you need to. So, for example, here, we learned that the prefrontal cortex is the part that is what short-term memory mm -hmm. is used in when it's activated. As well as here, it's like almost like in the front of the brain, mm -hmm. and we we learned that the brain has like two sides, like like functions, mm -hmm. and the left the left side is like like organizing, like repetitiveness, mm -hmm. while the right side is like more creative and like pictures, and we also had to we had to learn we had to research about like injuries that can affect short term memory. Talk to me about that. We learned that short-term memory is affected by, like, if you have, like, a brain trauma, mm -hmm. like, what's affected the most is what happens right after that. And like, during the accident. Yeah, during the accident. So you are, will remember it or you won't? No, you won't. You won't. Really? So but you can actually remember, like, um, childhood, like, events got or, like, it. things got it, got it, got it. Or, like in the past. Also, like, amnesia. Talk to me about that. Yep. Um, we researched that it was it has to do a lot like with forgetting things and stuff. Mm -hmm. So basically, the injury or the illness is just that you forget things that have happened. Awesome. Talk to me about um, what it would have looked like if I were one of your test subjects. So walk me through your procedures okay. and your setup, please. So let's talk about the setup first. How did you set up your experiment? Um, well, first we were gonna do a, like a survey type of mm -hmm. quiz. But then we chose to use Socrative, mm -hmm. which is uh, like online, an online testing. testing. Mm -hmm. So we printed out our pictures. If you guys, these are, are the images. Are the images that, that we show us all these. Then just show them to, to the camera. So first, it's we use three, three letter like three um, randomized letters. Did they get progressively longer? Yeah. So it's like one has five. And then the other one has fourteen. And the other one has like sixteen. Yeah. Like right. And then we use three. That were just pictures, mm -hmm. and these also progress. Like first, it's like like nine pictures, and then like I think it was fourteen, and then like twenty objects. Okay. And we made sure they were all like black and white because we didn't we wanted to keep it constant. Good, good constant. We didn't okay. want some to be in color and the other ones not. To. So we would show them, we would time them, and we would give the our um, like the people that were helping us, the uh -huh. participants, they would get the object and I mean the picture, and they would sh uh, we would show it to them for a minute. Mm -hmm. After that, we would. And you guys use a timer? Yes. Okay. We would take it away from them and we would give them a laptop and they can type in all the objects they can remember. And we gave them a minute also to type in mm -hmm. to keep it constant, not like to give them more time okay. to remember stuff. So we time them. And, and we made sure, like, while they were memorizing, to. We asked them not to, like, speak the. Like, say the words out loud mm. because that's another way that will affect them to memorize it. Like so, better. they weren't allowed to speak yeah. it, repeat it, mm -hmm. write it down. Yeah. It just was it straight was just up based on memory. At it. So, that kind of eliminated some of your scientific error, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Okay, keep going. And what were your conclusions? Because you guys tested how many people did you test, mm -hmm. and what were your conclusions? We tested 30 people. It was 10 people from all three, from mm -hmm. three different age groups. Mm -hmm. It was the first age group. Age group was from six to eight, mm -hmm. from 15 to 17, and from 25 and up. And what was your evidence? And what did you, what, 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 what were your results? Um, so we did two graphs. One was based on just the images of the letters, mm -hmm. and the other one was based on the, just the objects. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that for the letters, um, the adults. 
and the, a lot better. Yeah, they did bit, like mo a lot better mm -hmm. in each image because there's three images for each one. And as well as this one, the adults did, the adults are the red, like all their different colors. And, mm -hmm. but they also did the best in the objects. And we noticed that that all of the age groups did better in letters than in objects. So that's what we also like noticed, like what's the difference. Which is funny because a lot of people think they're visual learners. And yeah, when, yeah. It was that. Did that surprise you guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. You actually thought it was going to be better with the objects. But I think one thing that we could have done is that we could have um, like researched more about the difference between being able to memorize letters, mm -hmm. being able to memorize objects, because Good. we did notice a difference. Like adults, although they did do better than um, teenagers or kids, it was, they, still, they still did a lot better in memorizing the letters than they did with the audience. So did you guys find that your hypothesis was correct or not correct? Correct. Yeah. Excellent. And I see that in your data. Um, if you were given a year to redo this entire experiment, what would you change? Uh, well, keeping the... Because sometimes, like, the distractions... Okay, so that'd be a scientific error? Yeah. yeah. All right, talk to um, me. Let's talk about people, that. Talk to me about those. Like, when we did it with the teenagers first, uh -huh. of course, like, other teenagers came and then they started, like, um, trying to distract them. Or even sometimes they will call out what, what's on the thing. And we're like, don't do that. We're trying to keep it, like, constant. So how could you fix that in a future? If you had a I year think, to do the whole experiment over? I think it would be, like, in a small room. Uh -huh. Just, okay. have like, our own room. Testing. Awesome. Because especially the little kids, they were even more distracted. Yeah, they were like so <laughs> excited to get. I think also the fact that we did it in a, like a moment where there was a lot of stuff going on uh -huh. because there was like the teachers had a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So when we tried testing the teachers, like they were like, keep in keep in mind that I'm very stressed, that I have so much going on. <laughs> so I think that like next time we can mm -hmm. do it at a different period of time. And maybe a survey, teachers. like what do you what do you rate your current stress level at? What do you yeah. rate your current distraction level at? Mm -hmm. And that way, if people were more distracted, yeah. you could definitely chart that as well. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, what is it um, done? If you were going to take this research and use it for a future research project, so let's say you're in college, and they say we want you to take an old science experiment you did somewhere, and we want you to apply it to something in the future, what could you do with the data you collected that um, you could share that would make a difference for the future? I'm thinking in school, I'm thinking, I mean, how we learn, think the philosophy yeah. of learning. What, how would you share your information? I think um, one of the things would be, like, the letter letter memorization. Mm -hmm. Because we were talking to Miss um, Beck, the, mm -hmm. uh, she's a math um, tutor, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking to her, and she said that she thinks that it has a lot to do with the fact that they've had to memorize a lot of addresses mm -hmm. and phone Codes numbers and, and all those oh, stuff. Oh, and little kids so, wouldn't have had yeah, that. Yeah, they don't, no, have the same, okay. they don't have the same experience or practice as adults. So mm -hmm. maybe we can look more into that. Like, does that affect the fact that they have more practice with memorizing yeah. stuff like that? Because mm -hmm. that, that the age of six or eight, how'd they do with the, they did worse with the pictures, though, yes, actually. Yeah. Which is interesting because I would have thought they would have done better with the pictures, yeah. Um, and how would you connect this to other things um, besides learning and teaching um, in real world? How could you connect your um, your experiment, your studies, to other things in the real world? Like to if you were to say, oh, no, you're doing this wrong because mm -hmm. I studied this in 10th grade. Mm -hmm. So who could you school using your information? And I'm thinking there's a lot of applications for this. So Like for... Like, you're going to teach somebody about their long and short-term memory. Who are you going to teach and why? Adults? Yeah, like sure. Who? What kind of adults? Have, like, like, um... You're in a workplace. You're training somebody at McDonald's on how to flick burgers. <laughs> Would you give them... Yeah, and they're, they're 22 years old. Because there's, like, a lot of memorizing, like... And no, that's so. true. So would you give them pictures or would you give them a, a, checklist? a checklist? Checklist. How come? Because, well, it's proven that they can memorize more stuff that are written down as in words mm -hmm. or letters than they can memorize what's drawn on. Excellent. That's what I needed to hear. Awesome. You guys are great. So your conclusions of this are what? Let's finish with your conclusion. Okay, so through this project, we learned that the... The adults have the best like short-term memory, mm -hmm. and as like we said before, because they've had more practice and more experience with learning like zip codes and phone numbers, mm -hmm. and we learned that, well, we came to conclude that high school students were, they, they were in between because they would be affected by like 
what we said they might be exposed to like drugs. <laughs> no, it's, it's very <laughs> true. And 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 it'd be interesting to see in a college situation if you did an anonymous survey what the effect of certain alcohol and drug use um, would have um, users. And there've been some studies. You guys find any of that data? We didn't look into any of that. Didn't look into any of it. You wanted to keep it really pure just on kids who... But I think that's a definite future consideration that you guys, if you decided to go into psychology or sociology, this would be um, something you totally can continue in your future. Very nicely done, guys. Can I see your citations in both of your research projects, just your work site? Or do you guys have work? (laughs) No problem. Just uh, unclip it. There you go. Awesome. That's what I need to see. And you guys liked your project, huh? Yeah. Pretty interesting. Thank you very much, ladies. Very nicely done.